longest time I've been wanting a red coat. It's been one of those things that I've just pushed to the side and I think it's a new year. I'm ready to take on the challenge. So come along with me on this journey. Uh, my name is Juliette Uzo of SoSoNatural.com. This is a place where we work together to demystify this thing called sewing clothes. And so oh, I'm super excited but nervous at the same time because I don't want to ruin this fabric. I want to do justice to this fabric. So here I have four meters of this red wool fabric. It's got a good width because it's it's more than your regular 45 inches so I'm super excited to cut into this one here I have this lush red satin fabric I also have this fabric it's a beautiful satin fabric and I am not sure about this one so I'll get through the rest of the project and decide on the lining last okay so on to our inspiration my inspiration is coming from this Dior book So looking at the silhouette of this coat, you can already see that it's going to have a deep V. It will have a lapel thing going on there and you would have a nice statement pocket. A regular pair of sleeves, they look like set in sleeves, but you can see that it has the red lining that shows on the inside. I think I will be ruling out this pattern here. It's a McCall's sewing pattern. Vogue pattern V8346 has some nice colors and the silhouette of the skirts also are a bit similar. So I think I will be moving on to the Vogue 9040. Look at the, the color, it's got a short color. I've got a large bust. These shawl style colors suit me much better than any other style. So it has statement pockets as well. The skirts are similar to the Dior coats and that it has set in sleeves. So the idea behind this is to share my journey. I'm going to share the wins and I'll share the fails, but I think that everything that I learned from this process, I'm going to pour into you. So it will take away that um, uncertainty and any anxiety that surrounds creating clothes or creating coats. I know that the first thing I'm going to do is to fuse a big portion of it before I actually cut out certain parts. I know that I will be fusing the front panel of the coat and the front facing of the coat um, to give it a nice to give it a nice shape and structure so i will start with that and i'll take you along as i go tip so if you're going to be working on a coat it's best to cut out the lining first try on the lining to make sure it fits and if you have to make any adjustments make it to the lining and then ensure that it fits before actually transferring it to your main fabric so you do not waste any of your fabric my coat is going to be slightly oversized because I kind of like the oversized look with coats. So the coat is going to be a bit bigger. So I've cut out a bigger size. Actually, I've cut out two sizes bigger than my size. So I don't want it to be exactly my size, which is the reason why when I took my measurements, I took the measurements uh, with my clothes on. So <laughs> rather than taking it on, cause like I'd, I'd, the advised thing is to take measurements when you have closely fitted clothes on, but for my coat, I took the measurements with my clothes on.
so here we are. I, at the moment, am left with this bag here full of scraps that I actually don't know how I'm going to be using because they're, they're just random pieces of wool fabric. Um, if you have any tips on what to do with the leftover wool fabric that I have here, which are of odd shapes that can't really be used to make a garment, do let me know in the comment section. It's currently snowing outside and I guess this coat is just timely. Well, let's get on with it. So what I've done now is I've cut out the pattern pieces and I'm going to cut out the facings. You'd have noticed that I have two inter like it's double interface because I just want extra structure for this coat. So at this point, I have um, basted. I use my sewing machine for this part. I've basted the interfacing to the fabric. So this interfacing is non-fusible. Um, and this is feasible, obviously. So <laughs> I've used my sewing machine to base this onto the front part of the coat and I have reinforced this here. So what I'm going to do now is snip into this corner here because in a minute I will be attaching my pockets. like the way it's looking now <laughs> this looks very smooth I like the way it's just like nice and flat so it really does help the, those notches really do help that notch that I created there has helped this to end uh, to lay nice and flat so now I need to press this open and or oh, you would have noticed the last thing I did just at the machine there was I basted this part of the skirt to the pocket so it doesn't so it'll be easy for me to manage when I'm joining this to the side seam okay so yeah pockets sorted on the inside and the top has been stitched together that's the pocket by the way I feel like this might need my bra cup Hack. There's my bra cup. <laughs> just going to put it there just to form this nicely. But I'll just lightly press over. 
I'll, I'll leave this here and then I'll go over to the other one. If you want me to show you how to make one of these um, pressing tools using a bra cup, let me know and I'll do it. I'll make a video on it. It's another day now and I was up last night getting the inner part of the coat sewed up. I sewed up the lining. It wasn't actually that difficult, I must say. Following the instructions was one thing that I needed to do. Oops, guess what's happened? I do have some thread in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the threads that I filled out earlier on. So I've got two here. I have made up the front part of the coat and the back of the coat, the shoulder seam and the side seams. Um, one thing that I've found that has helped make the, look, the coat look polished is pressing as I go so I might carry on tonight like after the evening routine is complete with my daughter at least assemble the sleeves give it a good press and prep the sleeve cap otherwise it will be tomorrow but yes it's been fun day four of making this coat the sleeves are not looking the way i want them to look because there's a bit of a pucker here yeah around the sleeve cap so i will have to do some unpicking and refit them again um even though i did two rows i'll show you yeah i've got two rows of stitches on um the sleeve seam oh oh so that and the length of the sleeves I don't like. that yesterday I would not have come in here to do any unpicking which is the reason why it's really important to um, just put your project down if it starts to frustrate you put it away and come back to it a day or two later or maybe the next week whatever it is but um, otherwise you ruin your project I 
I'm going to have some sleeve, um, some, uh, what do you call those again? Some shoulder pads on this. Thing to share with you this the sewing pattern um, called for me or us to hand stitch the hem but I'm not going to be doing that <laughs> so what I've decided to do is slant so I'm going to slant this a little bit this facing part of the hem so like this is the bottom of the coat. So here's the coat, the hem. So rather than pressing this under by, you know, using the same dimension for the hem, I'm going to make it a bit like wider. So I'm going to go in a bit more than two inches. 
which means that this, there will be a slant and these won't match up. So because of that, you'd have this gap here, which means that the facing won't show on the other side. So I have this, um, it matches up nicely. So I'm going to go from the, from inside. So I'm just gonna um, match this on from the inside. absolutely love it all the stress was worth it I mean the highs and the lows the unpicking everything it was just worth it and I'm so pleased that I committed and made this coat oh my goodness what can I say I hope you like it because I love it I've paired it with this gold um, belt from ASOS and my goodness I just I can't believe I made this coat I'm absolutely loving it there's nothing there's no part of this coat that I do not like every part of it I love I'm like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I cannot think of anything that I don't like about this coat so I'm really pleased that I went with the decision to make this coat and I'm pleased that I committed to it so um, I'm going to take on a new challenge, but I'm not telling you what it is, so keep watch this space. I have other videos here on my channel that I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel and please give this video a like because it really does help my channel. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. All the very best. Take care. Bye.